strumming chords just like a king Ladies smile when they see Texan Spaniards gonna sing From the States to Madrid's flight Serenading through the night Every town another sight Texas Spaniard takes his fight Oh, 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 ladies, can you hear? Texas Spaniard's rhythm near He's the one you hold so dear When he strums the love sincere From the deserts to the sea Playing just for you and me Bringing joy eternally Under stars and ancient tree Heartbeats echo in the crowd Every note a love so loud Singing soft or singing proud Texan Spaniard makes them bow Oh, 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 ladies, can you hear? Texan Spaniard's rhythm near He's the one you hold so dear When he strums the love sincere
so dear When he strums the love sincere
strumming chords just like a king. Ladies smile when they see. Texan Spaniards gonna sing. From the States to Madrid's flight. Serenading through the night. Every town another sight. Texas Spaniard takes his fight. What's that? Did someone say looking at cards? We've got an icon, scissors on, plus the pizza backdrop, and now it's on, cause we're looking at cards, looking at cards! Hola amigos, I am Pedro Boyega, Drug Texan Spaniard, and welcome to Looking at Cards! And I see we got the double B05! Cross in Mexico and Zeus King Dark into his house. I probably should have kept it on here. Probably should have kept it on here before he switched to that one. Hola, amigos. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, you guys ready to look at cards tonight? Um, we got some uh, Tops baseball cards to look at. We got uh, you know, some, some digital card stuff. Action, some digital trading card action going to happen as well. Let's, let's just, let's get into it. Let's just get right to it, amigos. Let's do it. So today, today, amigos, we have Tops Heritage Baseball 2024 cards. This pack has 24 in it. And look at the, look at the packaging. I really like the packaging. Let me move this mouse over here. <clears throat> the packaging makes me think of like the old uh, wax packs and stuff. I, I've been looking at these cards at Target for a while. I've been wanting to buy these for a while. You guys don't know. Stephanie has had to put up with me going, you know, Oh man, I want to... I'm gonna Next week I'm going to get those. And then the next week... uh, Next week I'll get, I'll get some. I kept putting it off, but... Then last week we opened those um, those tops of 2024 cards and they were so nice and I was like okay we totally got to get we totally got to get these so yeah here's the back here's the here's the the thing and I don't know if you guys can see this it's very see through it's very see through so this is a true story amigos what I'm about to tell you guys is a very 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 true story. I was I was kind of going through them. I was trying to find one that said Astros on the front because I was finding all kind of teams, but I wasn't finding the Astros. And this one, I could make out the Orioles, and then the card behind it, I could make out the Yankees. And I was like, well, I should get this if for nothing else. Cayuga Queen Heather and James Extreme Jim How Sorno would appreciate. <laughs> Orioles and Yankees. <laughs> so, I was going for the cheap pop. So, we know there's at least going to be an Orioles card and a Yankees card. Um, there could be multiple, as we know, but, you know. So, you guys ready? But I'm going to need some help to get this open. So, I think you guys know who we got to call in. Scissor Sun, Scissor Sun. Everybody knows Scissor Sun. If you need something cut, they will do the job. It's scissor sun, scissor sun. Ooh, yeah. Scissor sun is here, amigos. Scissor sun always gets the job done. Just like that. Thank you, scissor sun. Knife coon, yeah, knife coon is a, 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 a little harder, little harder for knife coon, a little harder to, to work knife coon in, but, okay, you guys ready, and, okay, the, the Oreos card that's at the top, the one that we've been curious about, right, 
is Yeni Ergano. Yeni Ergano. Pitcher is a looks like it's a all star rookie. Ange, welcome in, Ange. Welcome in. So the first card, the first pull here is uh Orioles and it's a Yeni Arcano and it's uh it's a it's an all-star rookie. So there we go. There's the first one. And now for the Yankees card. Oh the Yankees card, it is second baseman Glaber Torres. Glaber Torres. So and the back oh, oh we didn't look at the back, but the back I love the back. It just looks like the old school cards. Remember like when we were kids? It looks like the old school cards. So, uh, if memory serves me correct, this year for a Heritage, this year for the Heritage Series, Tops went with 1975. They're, they're replicating the, the format, the design they used for the 1975 Tops baseball cards. Why does that appeal to me? Because I'm from 1975. I was born in 1975, amigos. That's my birth year. That's the year I was born. So, yeah. But there you go. We Now we know the, the, the Orioles and we know the Yankees. So, the ones that were on the top, we know are these two. Yeni Arcano and Glaber Torres. So, that those are the ones we saw. All right. The rest, you guys ready for territory you never seen? Uh, double B of five, I see what you're saying with the scissors. No, no. And just so you guys know, I'll see the chat stuff. I'll see it a little behind what you guys type. So apologies about that. I, it's, this thing is in the way. I don't know if you can see uh, the chat thing is here. This is in the way, so I can't see everything being said. Sorno, J James. Did you see it? James, see, this was the top two. Orioles, Yeni Arcano, and Yankees, Glaber Torres. So, okay, now, now we're moving on. We're moving on. And it's the Phillies, and it's Brandon Marsh, outfielder with the Phillies. Check out that beard. That is an epic beard. That is an epic beard there, amigos. That's a nice-looking card. I'm just saying, that is a nice-looking card. I think that's a nice-looking card. Oh, oh, James! Jim House! Jim ha, ha, House! Raising the roof in Jim's house! It's another Yankees! It's outfielder Juan Soto! James is another Yankees! Outfielder Juan Soto! Dig that. You got another Yankees, James. It's another one. All right, who we got next? From the Diamondbacks, it's Christian Walker. I love these cards. I love the old school look of these cards. I love them. And uh, I know I, I already showed you guys the back, but look at the back. Look at that, amigos. Look at the back. I love, they look just like the old cards. I love it. I love it. So there you go. Christian Walker with the Diamondbacks. Now from the Chicago White Sox is Zach Remillard. Zach Remillard, a shortstop. And, uh, yeah, James, I was saying earlier uh, this year for the Heritage um Tops is doing a 1975. They're doing a callback to the way they the the their cards looked in 1975. So, Zach Remillard in 1975, as I said, is the year I was a b -b born. Hey, another Yankees, another Yankee. Oh my God, it's Garrett Cole. He's an All AL American League All Star pitcher. Uh, James, you you came to the right episode. You came to the right episode, James. Look at this. Yankees. A third, our third Yankee. Our third Yankee of this of this pool. Now, from the Blue Jays, Yusei Kikuchi. A pitcher. P 
pitcher with the Blue Blue Jays, you got Kikuchi. You see it? You say Kikuchi. I think. I, I hope I'm saying that right. That's a nice looking card. That's all I say. I like the action. You can see the lines. You can see he's in mid throw. You can see like his body is like in motion. His muscles are like vibrating and everything. That's a good card. That's a good card. From the Diamondbacks, it's Jordan Lawler. Lawler. <laughs> Lawler. Check those eyebrows out, amigos. Those are some eyebrows there. Shortstop with the Diamondbacks, but dig those eyebrows. Those are some thick-ass eyebrows. Apologies to this dude, but damn, those are some thick eyebrows. We have a 2017 Most Valuable Players. Oh, this is going to cause some controversy. One side, we got Jose Altuve. <laughs> and the other side, we have uh, Giancarlo Stanton. But yeah, look. Yeah. Jose Altuve. <laughs> this is a weird looking card. So 73 years. Of Topps baseball cards, 1951-2023. Okay. Okay. Now with the Marlins, we've got outfielder Dane Myers. Outfielder Dane Myers. I really like these cards. They look nice. I love I love this these old school designs and stuff. These are these are nice. These are nice amigos. From the Minnesota Twins, it's Byron Buxton, outfielder. No, oh my God. Oh, my God. James Sorno, the extreme James Sorno, Jim House. You know what's coming up, don't you? It's our fourth Yankee. It's outfielder Trent Gresham. Man, you, you've brought the Yankees uh, to this pack, uh, uh, James. Take care, Ange. You brought this is a fourth the fourth Yankee of this of this pool. There you go. Dig that mustache. Dig the mustache. Now 2023 highlight. It's a no hitter. Let's see what uh, let's read the back. Uh Lorenzen's home debut, a no hit. I cannot read this from here. I'm just gonna tell you guys. Uh, uh, from Philadelphia. Um, there's no way I can read this from here. Uh, I can't read this from where I am. It's too... Uh, the grain and, the, and the, the tonally is just too hard for me to read from here. I have to hold it up to me. In his first home start for the Phillies, Michael threw the 14th no-hitter in club history. Only four other pitchers had done that in a home debut with a new team. Hearing the fans go wild, it gave me the chills. Said Michael of his last fame, frame. So there you go. His no-hitter from 2023. Now, a uh, then and now, 1975 to 2024, Chicago White Sox, Rich Gossage, and then Guardians, Emmanuel, how do you say this guy's last name? Cl Clase? Clase? I'm not sure how you say his last name. So, there you go, a then and now card. That's kind of neat looking. Heather. Heather. Cayusha Queen. This was the Orioles card. Yeni Arcano. This was the Orioles card, uh, uh, Heather. It's the one we, we suspected, Yeni Arcano. We haven't had any more Orioles yet, but we've had four Yankees. We've had four Yankees since then. But oh, we're getting a lot of Diamondbacks too from the Diamondbacks. Cattell Marte. Is this this might be the the third or fourth Diamondbacks as well? He's a uh, second base with the Diamondbacks. So there you go. There's that. With the Guardians, it is Jose Tena. He's shortstop. He's running for it. There you go. Now, let's see. 
2016 Most Valuable Player, American League, Mike Trout. Um, National League, Chris Bryant. So there's 2016's Most Valuable Players. Oh, there was a White Sox uh, player earlier, Heather. There was a White Sox player. From the Angels, it's Reed... How do you say this? Dietmers? Dietmers? He's a pitcher with the Angels. And oh man, I'm sad. We only got one more card to go. Only got one more card to go, amigos. The last card. From the Mets, second base. Jeff McNeil. I think we had. I think we got a Jeff McNeil card last week with the uh, 2024 cards. So, so there you go. No, no Royals double B O five. No Astros. I mean, you know. But we we had one. We had the Orioles. We had at least four Yankees. So we had Orioles, Yankees, Phillies, Yankees, Diamondbacks, White Sox. There's the White Sox, uh, Heather. There's the White Sox. Uh, our third Yankees, Blue Jays, Di our second Diamondbacks, Marlins, Twins, fourth Yankees, Highlights. Uh, uh, was that four? So four Diamondbacks, four Yankees. Those were... The Topps Heritage Baseball 2024 cards, amigos. Those were those cards. I'm pretty happy with with the cards. They, they look real nice. They look real nice. They're they're not they're not worth anything, but that's fine. They're they're nice looking cards, you know. They're nice looking cards. I really like the packaging for this. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this pack of cards. I wish there was some Astros in there. That would have made me a little a little happier if we got some Astros because I'm an Astros supporter, but I got no complaints. That's pretty nice. That was pretty nice. So, you guys you guys up for some uh, some digital trading cards? You guys up for some New Japan Collection? I think I know at least two people who are up for New Japan Collection. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure there's at least two people here who want some New Japan Collection. Let's let's get this uh, app going. Uh, oh, predictions. I haven't done predictions yet uh, for tonight. I don't think. Um, so uh, maybe I, I will have to do that. There you see Naito. We, we can do predictions on the air. Fuck it. Excuse my language, but we can just do it on the air. Hell, we'll, we'll do predictions <laughs> before we, we do the thing. And these are the cards we're going to go for in a, in a minute. But first, let's get to predictions. Let's see, they're accepting predictions. Prediction, let's go. Let's see, let's scroll down. See, you got Yoda Suji versus Jeff Cobb. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? Uh, uh, for some reason, I'm thinking Jeff Cobb. I'm putting two on Cobb. Uh, Ren Narita versus Takashita. I'm thinking Takashita putting two on him. Uh, Phantasmo versus David Finley. Oh man, what a what a terrible choice here. Uh, I'm gonna go with Finley, I guess. Uh, let's see. Uh, Goto or Hinore? I'm gonna go with Hinore. And oh, what, what's it? oh, oh no. So the rest are tag teams. Uh, shoot. Um, I'm gonna go with Yano. I just give two on Yano. There, those are those are my predictions. 
those are my predictions. If it's wrong, it's wrong. It's fine. It's fine. But now, amigos. Now, let's do... And do you see what, what my uh, my background is? Do you see? You see, it's Mayu Iwatani. Thank you, James, for Mayu Iwatani for the card. Let's go to draft. You guys want sound? There is sound on, on this game. I usually have sound off, but I'll turn the sound up for you guys. Okay, we're going to do this one. It's the new event draft. Uh, I'm not super crazy about the cards, but uh, I'll show you. Uh, there's this Doki video card. There's this uh, LIJ video card. Uh, I hope I don't get Taguchi. Oh, I hope I don't. Uh, I don't want Calum Newman either. I'd be okay with that one. I mean, it's got a uh, Tai Chi. Then you got some three star cards. Uh, Drag Queen Hiroshi Tanahashi. Uh, <laughs> Whoa. Loud. So here we go. Yowza. Whoa. Let's see what happens, amigos. Oh, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Tap. Lightning. Please, lightning. Oh, no. No lightning. Okay. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. Lightning. Please, lightning. Oh. Oh, man. It's not looking good. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. Lightning. Come on, lightning. <laughs> oh, terrible. Not even getting the special three stars. This is the worst thing about it. Not even getting the special three stars. They're the same three stars we always get. Oh, man. So we, we totally struck out. We totally struck out. That was terrible. Let's see, uh... I uh, got some, uh, let's see what we got for this five. Uh, what do we have left now? Oh, uh, we only got 47. We only got 47, so. Uh, so, well, you know, that, but you know, we can have a look at some of my cards while we're here. While we're here, let's have a look at some of the cards. Let's go filter. Let's do stardom. Let me turn the sound on. Look, you can check out this Mayu Iwatani card. It's got a video. Mayu Iwatani defending the IWGP title. There's there's the video Mayu Iwatani card. That's the only one we have. We tried really hard, amigos, to get the James and James and Zeus. No, we tried really hard to get the Mina card. We all did did drafts and stuff. We all tried. All, all manner of trades. No one will give up their Mina cards. So we were not able to get Mina. But let's look at some of the legend cards. Let's see. We've got. Look at this Ricky Choshu card. Isn't that beautiful? Dig that Ricky Choshu card. And then look. Oh, Keiji Muto with the IWGP title. Try to get a closer look here. This, the Legends cards are nice. Look at this one, the Great Muda. With a mask version. The mask version of the Great Muda. Oh, look. Here's NWO Great Muda. Look how cool this card is. Look at that, amigos. That's a cool card. Here's uh, uh, KG Muto with uh, the IWGP title again. But this is when he's younger. Oh, here's uh, here's the great Muta with the IWGP title. The red face paint. Look at that. 
these are nice cards. These are nice, nice cards. Uh, Masahito Kakahara. Kazuo Yamazaki. El Samurai. Old, old man El Samurai. Oh, this is one of the nicest looking cards. I love this card so much. This is such a nice card. This is one of my favorite cards in all of, all of New Japan Collection. This card is just so nice looking. Uh, here's a Kenta Kobashi card. Uh, Ten Ryu. Dig the Ten Ryu. Oh, this is another one of my favorite ones. Milano Collection AT. I wanted this card for so long. I'm glad I got it. Such a cool looking card. Black Cat. Black Cat. Dun, 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 dun. Ricky Choshu. January 4th, 1994. Uh, another Se Seiji Sakaguchi from 1990. Antonio Inoki. Reverse Indian Deathlock card. Inoki Arm Breaker card. The Great Muda. Uh, Tokyo Ariaki, uh, November 2022. Is that it? Are those all the legends I have? Oh man, I thought I had more, but no. Those are all the legends we have. What about special cards? Let's look at. Whoa. Calm down now. Calm down. I don't have too many special cards. Let's see what we have. We've got. We've got this uh, Lij card. When uh, Shingo had the title. Transformer belt. Another, another Lij card. It's got some cool light effects. Uh, this one's like a two-parter for the fiftieth anniversary. See. Oh, there's some crappy card they gave for free. There's another crappy card they gave for free. Okada. Uh, we should have known. We should have known Amigos. Okada was going the way of, of, of terrible with with that. Oh, here's a cool card. Cobb and uh and Great Okan with the tag team titles. From Hyper Battle. Uh Anoki card after he passed away. Another terrible a uh, food related card. More terrible food related cards. Uh, this J.R. Kratos card they gave us all for free and none of us wanted. It's a video card, but I mean. Is there sound? Yeah. Japan fans, this is J.R. Kratos. Be sure to catch the independent show now available on NewJapanWorld.com. Watch myself and Team Filthy whoop some ass. Yeah, whatever, Kratos. Another Anoki card. Oh look, Shingo from Lone Star Shootout uh, from November in Dallas. That's a cool card. It's got some cool effects. These are some sort of free cards they gave for the Tokyo Dome show this year. Uh, they're not so great. The I hate everyone here in this one. So, um, man, look how Tama Tonga now in WWE Shingo. Tanahashi and Zack Sabre Jr. Uh, these folks. Um, the gazillionth reiteration of this matchup. Uh, oh, one of the worst Tokyo Dome main events they've had. It was so bad. Here you see this little New Japan uh, teddy bear. Lion bear. Oh, look at this one. This was a, a freebie they gave us, I believe. Desperado. Uh, that's the, the guy, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Kadani. He's the Bushy Road guy. And there's that, that giant inflatable panda. So, you know, you get an idea, amigos. You get an idea about these guys. 
Um, we've looked at these cards before, I know. So, anyways, we struck out today, amigos. And so it goes. So it goes. So it goes. But uh, hey, you know, that's the way. That's the way of the world. Uh, a little update. A little update from last week. Oh, looks like I got a trade. I've got a trade. Let's see. An update. Let's, let's check this trade stuff out. Let's see. This stuff takes a while, you know. Last week, there was a card. We did like a draft. And oh, I was in proposed trades. Okay. Uh, so when you see these things... These are, are people just, uh, they're just doing trades to, to do trades. Um, you press learn more. I got no problem doing the trade. It helps someone out. So. It helps, it helps a brother out. But last week, uh, we did a thing and I could not find the, I couldn't find the special, uh, card that I got. But it was because uh, I had to, uh, on the main page, there was a thing I had to press. But I did get the card. So let me let me pull up my limited edition cards. So this was the card, amigos, that we didn't get to see last week. This is the card I got for doing those drafts for uh, for this, uh, for this uh, the summer vacation collection or whatever it was called. So there's Mina, the card we got for doing that. And... Uh, and then uh, there's a there's a very kind soul who gives us uh, gives some of us the the codes for the people people who are there in attendance get codes and they get special cards. So this was one the latest one you see Suzu Suzuki it's from the August tenth show. So it's a very cool looking card. Very cool looking card. Um, if Heather's still around. Let's see. Let me see. I, I'll find some Natsuko Toro cards. I've got some Natsuko Toro cards for Heather to see. Look at this one. You got this cool. This was from uh, the July 23rd show. So that's but that's a little bit before she won the title. She won the title on the 28th, I believe. And then let's see. Let's go to regular cards. Let's see. What all I have. I have no five star cards, but I do have some four star cards, um, including this one. Look, you can see, watch the cool little video. Watch the cool little video before, yeah, Natsuko Tour blowing mist in someone's face. That's from last year's uh, Grand Star uh, five star GP. Um, let's see, some other cards. I got these in trades recently. Here you see the little movie poster. And there you see Starlight Kid. My favorite one, Starlight Kid. Uh, these things don't react sometimes. This was the other one I got in a trade recently. The other four-store card I got in a trade Starlight Kid, Cherry Blossoms. Uh, let's see, I got more Natsuko Tora cards. Let me see if I can find them. I've been getting a lot of Rana y y Yagami cards. I'm a big fan of hers. Um, let's see. I know I've got some more. Somewhere. Somewhere. Let's see. Oh look, here's one. Look at this. This one, I like this one a lot. She looks cool here, right? She's very cool. Now her head's shaved. Now her head doesn't look like this at all. Now her head's shaved. Uh, is that it? Oh no, wait. Yeah, here's one more. I got one more. I got one more. Heather, look. There you go from the Cinderella tournament. And to think, she went from this to now she's the world champion there. So you just never know. Just never know. 
So yeah, that's that'll about do it, I think, for this episode of Looking at Cards. Thank you, amigos, for hanging out. We opened some cool baseball cards. We uh, we struck out on the we struck out on those on those New Japan cards. Didn't work out for us, but hey, what can you do, amigos? So um, you know, that's how it goes. Uh, so let's uh, let's do a little. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's raid somebody real fast. Let me find somebody to raid really fast. Uh, let's see who we want to raid. Uh, let me see. Who do I want to raid? Well, hmm. Let's see. We are going to raid. Um. Um. Oh, I know who we're going to raid. We're going to raid Territory Wrestling. Thanks, guys, for hanging out. See you next week. See you tomorrow night for Primetime Jams. And let's go raise something like that. <laughs>